Um, we are bringing you Warhawks Entertainment Inc. presents Raw Episode 3. Coming off of a big pay-per-view event just last night at LWO Presents Reign of Blood. With me we have the Juggernaut, who is currently doing things uh, related to another matter. We have Kitty Cat, who is also doing things, but will sort of be here. All I need to do is write that down. I'm here. Okay. Nightingale. Hello. And Dark Raven. Hi. Sharania should be here any minute. And Chaos is concurrently doing something on his other game. He will be in here shortly as well. Give me just a minute. I have one more person who will be joining us. And one more person who will be joining us for tonight. things here. Give me just a minute. If anybody has typed in the chat yet, I haven't seen it because I don't have the chat up right now. And neither do I. <laughs> That's alright. Nightingale is currently playing um, Hearthstone. Hearthstone. But she will be here for about 25 more minutes. Which is long enough. I mean, she's missed the last couple of shows. So, Only one. Or, well, yeah, she missed last night. So nobody spoil it for her if she does decide to pull up the chat. We want her to see what happened. All right, so we are going to get one more person in here. He is going to be on the Skype call. You guys may remember him from the after show shenanigans the other day. Um, and I'm just saying, let me get him in here. Good sir. What up, man? Not much. In case you could, in case you didn't see the alert, we are starting raw right about now. Okay. Uh, everybody, if there is anybody in the chat, please welcome Master Mewtwo. Master Mewtwo, say hi to everybody in the chat that might be there. Hi, everybody in the chat that might be there. <laughs> All right, so. Since we're not really doing anything related to your character right now, figured there was no reason to really have the video on right now. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, guys, I am going to get into character, and we are going to start this thing. So you're going to turn Michael Cole again? Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> except, except I won't be saying vintage after every dang move. No, or classic. Or classic. And we have two people in the chat, one of which might be Master Mewtwo. Uh, I'm joining, I'm jumping in right now. I just dropped the host though. Oh, well thank you. Thank you Master Mewtwo for the host. All right, so, let me just a second here. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Warhawks Entertainment Inc. presents Monday Night Raw. We are coming off of a historic pay-per-view last night in LWO presents Reign of Blood. We will get into that tomorrow night, or not tomorrow night, Wednesday night on LWL, as we don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen the pay-per-view yet. Ignore the ring, don't worry. All right, no worries. I'm your host as always, the Iron Man, joined tonight by the Juggernaut, who is doing other things at the moment, Nightingale, Hi. <laughs> Dark Raven, Ooh. Kitty Cat and Chaos are, will join us shortly, they are doing other things as well, and Sharania will be here any minute now. Also in the chat we have Master Mewtwo. Right up, good people. And we have a very stacked card for you tonight. Let's take a look. In our opening match, we'll have The Undertaker from 1999 taking on The Big Show. Followed up by a rivalry match between Nikki Bella and Emma. After that, we have Bad News Barrett taking on New Day member Xavier Woods. Speaking of the New Day, after that, fellow New Day member Kofi Kingston will be taking on vaudeville and member Aiden English in another rivalry match. Excuse me. After that, we will have a clash of two former world champions as Edge takes on Dolph Ziggler. After that, the general manager's wife will be in, in action as Connie Jennings takes on Lita. And finally, in our main event of the evening, speaking of the Raw General Manager, Terrence Jennings will be taking on John Cena. Alright, so, what match is everybody looking forward to? No idea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Ask me too, what match are you looking forward to? Well, I'm a big Undertaker mark, especially considering it's going to be... Taker from 99, which means Ministry of Darkness, and I am a big fan of Ministry of Darkness. I wish they'd bring it back, but I know they won't, because that's the same reason why Cena is not a heel anymore. Ever exactly. again, to speak of, actually. So, he's looking forward to our opening contest. And I would get the opinions of the others, but they're busy at the moment. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I turned back on the voices for the thing because it just kind of sounded bland without him. Yes, self-depreciation, I know. I need some video on Skype. I, I can't see the live feed. Okay, hang on, Master Mewtwo. Yeah, it's just I can't see the... Uh, yeah. yeah, no words. Is that mental? Yeah, there we are, and I see entrance, Steve. I see entrance. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to skip that. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Cole, and to my left, the Hall of Famer. All right. Hey. The King Lawler. And I want to tell you something, Michael. This might well be one of the most highly anticipated... Clash of two super heavyweights. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's obviously we know who Mash Mewtwo is going for in this match. If you think Undertaker's going to win, type 1 in the chat. If you think Big Show is going to win, type 2 in the chat. Undertaker. Undertaker. Chris? I think we got a moment here for the Undertaker. Undertaker. What can you tell us? All right. So, so Jonas. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Just a second, guys. I'll be right back. Smash the knee off the, off the ring there. Doesn't seem like Big Show's known right much of an offense, of course. That's what happens when you go corporate. Back to the nerf hold on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's YouTube commentating in my place. I appreciate that. <laughs> and the general consensus is Undertaker. And can be seen clear as day whether you're sitting in the military press slam or drop slam whatever cover 
Looks third. Well, he doesn't have to go, but one. Oh, he gets one. Nope. Undertaker sending him into the ropes. And shoulder tackles him off of him. Uh, judging by how they're going out, folks, if you want to the devil is the I love the fact that you said speak of the devil and Undertaker is in control. they are just in awe. I think that's one thing the audience has in common with the WWE superstars. Exactly. It's unbelievable how we have five people in the chat. How's everybody doing tonight? We sit in the broadcast booth. We can get a front row seat and see Big Show and the crowd's faces. And I have a cat in my face. It's just a matter of time now to see who Come really starts taking advantage. Face plant into the ring by the Big Show on Taker. Oh no, wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? Look out! Big good buster from the Big Show. Sorry, I'm kind of typing at the moment. That's why I'm going to you to match talking. his way. Yeah. Steps on Taker. You know, maybe the most remarkable thing to me about Big Show. And Undertaker matching control with a clothesline. I mean, you wouldn't think Big never is a word you'd use to describe a 7-foot, 440-pound Goliath. But with Let's the Big Show, it almost fits. Well, almost. <laughs> In real life wrestling news, apparently WWE has signed members of the Bullet Club to contracts. Really now? Yep. To be back in the AJ, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, Carl Anderson, and a couple other people. Well, it's only a matter of time to see how AJ Styles really makes his football in the WWE after being featured on Velocity once. Yep. I'd love to see Kazarian back there if he was undefeated. Old school. And a very slow two count. Yeah, and which is surprising after that old school. Not many people. Well, no, mostly everybody keeps that old school. Backbreaker by Big Show. Yeah. Cover. Only gets a one count. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep Undertaker down. Well, that's what happens when you go up against the team. You have to break all your options. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit can? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time. Well, that's the thing, Big Show knows how to beat the Undertaker, just not at WrestleMania. <laughs> All back to now show with his own nerve hold. Well, if you're standing across the ring from the Undertaker, you better know that the henchmen that comprise the Ministry of Darkness are not far away. You, know that crank? you should also know that your day of reckoning has come. That has really gotta hurt. Oh, especially with that last crank, because because that can oh, both pop and break your neck. Oh yeah. Forcing him up against the ropes. Sends him outside, but onto the apron. Uh oh, is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? Yes, he is. DDT. Don't see. Yeah, you don't see Undertaker do that very often. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. He's the reaper of men, the collector of souls, and the root of your nightmares. Opposing him will lead to a life of endless anguish and torment. And uh, usually, no offense, to, with all due respect to Undertaker, a lot of the time you can tell what he's going to do before he can do it. Part of the ghastly sacrifice that will fall. Nice stat there by Undertaker. Just a quick rest, little headlock. Quick little headlock, he resting hold, wearing him down. It's a good idea. Keep the giant off his feet. And get him dizzy by cutting off some of the circulation to his head. Yeah. 
We may see something. Last or, or wait, no, curtain call by Big Show. One, two, no. No, only a signature move like that. You're not going to be putting the Undertaker. Yeah, but but to but to Big but to Big Show's credit, it did take take her a while to kick out that time. Bit of a slower one with the heavy clothesline there. Exactly. Big Show can pop that WMD at any moment. In the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Nice backbreaker. We see back injuries derail careers permanently. Uh oh. Big Show's going for something. Ooh! Ow. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE. Oh yeah. Time. One of these guys claims. And Big Show with a snap mare. Odd that he wouldn't go directly to, for the pin. King, we've talked about it. When you think of the King big show got walking towards the ring, engaging in the Indeed, he has. Jobber, that individual counter. is incredible. The way he's up, Taker. The, of the, power the big show's big back on his feet. Down an opponent's Sends spot. him into the corner. Big show pushes him out of the way. After an hour, Swift, oh, with a little bit of a hammer through it to it. Turn about it's his fair wow. play. This is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Thank you guys by Big Show. One. Two. No. And the spear on Big Show's face. What does he have to do to put the Undertaker away? Then again, we are speaking of an Undertaker. Much more When I see the Big Show, I think of all the devastating knockout punches. And Taker going for old school. That has come from the crowd. Oh, that agility is just freakish. What needs to happen here is Taker needs to put Big Show away. But and he goes for the the He's going for it, though. No. Nope. Did not think so. Taker's got to put him up and spike him down with that tombstone. The good news is he's got two of them stored. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal. Very, very, very painful for these guys. When this guy's on, look out. Spear. Spear by Big Show. Big Show launches For himself lack of again. Word. Cover the slide. One, two, no. That wasn't even a close two. That was right at the, at the slide before the uh, rest hand would come down. Take your zone for choke slam. Choke slam lands it up. What an impact. The Undertaker and Undertaker is going to take advantage. The shoulders are down. One, two, three, it's over. Undertaker wins. Of course. It's only fair that Taker puts the big show away from his own finishing. Let's over. take a look at the table for some time. Taker's been finishing people like that long before Big Show even thought wrestling was a career choice. Right? <laughs> And next we have Nikki Bella versus Emma. Let's see what happens here. Only a matter of time. Uh oh. Women's champion Lita deciding to make an appearance. Cross body by Emma right off the bat. But we just started out getting Nikki off her feet because Nikki's known for her speed and her skill while on her feet. Indeed she is. I assure you, you cannot miss a moment of Raw. You never know what will happen next. So who are you going for, Master no Mewtwo? How much I will did. remain as neutral as possible because I have grown up watching women's wrestling. Give and us your only two on true Death female wrestlers that so I can far. remember in that too era much were Trish Stratus and point. Lita. Who is, who by the way, has joined us at ringside. Yes, she is quietly watching the match. Hopefully remains that way. It depends Great on whether or not here tonight. It doesn't get much Emma better than this. On her bad side. Well, considering Nikki is currently in a nice forearm by Nikki. Considering Nikki is currently in a rivalry with her, I wouldn't doubt that Nikki gets in her face. <laughs> Anybody ever forgets Emma's well, name? It's, it's certainly not Emma's fault. This is true. Emma might. 
Sandwich. Everybody in the chat, if you think Nikki Bella is going to win this match, type 1. If you think Emma is going to win this match, type 2. Big stop to that hand by Emma. Who do you think is going to win? With action like this, it's no wonder Raw has been around as long as it has. Those were my choices? Yep. Emma. Emma. TJ, who do you think is going? Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. Emma. A butt whooping. All right. Emma you get a couple more votes her. here. Hang on just a second. It's only fair that they would say Emma right off the bat. Emma has shown herself to have a very strong offense early on. It's only January of 1993, Raw has been providing viewers with the absolute best sports and entertainment action available. Okay, Emma certainly does have some. No, I was gonna say, I meant to say, Lita. I think Lita is gonna factor into the ending of this match. Literally pulling bones from sockets. I love the Vin Emma. Yeah, she might not get involved. We never know. Oh, could be right now. Hey, don't look down, but I think our guests want to get involved with this match. There's been trouble brewing between these divas, but now it's spilling into other matches. Please, uh -oh. time, ladies. You have a match going on. And Emma takes advantage with a right hand. Very smart of Lita not to get involved because then that would give the match to Nikki, and I don't think she wants to see Nikki she win any more matches. She has to slow regaining her base. Right. That hand had a lot of force behind it. Well, we're on the move here. I don't want to know what dragging her by her hair. That's illegal, but it works. You don't want to know. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near these dangerous objects. Audiences have been drawn to Emma ever since she started parading around arenas with signs displaying her Emma isms. And that was well before she ever stepped foot in a ring. Emma going to the top rope. What's she going to do here? You know you're dealing with somebody special. Wait for it again. Nice spot and cross body. One, two, three. She got her. I can't believe what we just shot. Indeed, it did. And Emma definitely showed that she could hold her own against one of the better Akibas on the list. Indeed, she did. Next up, we have. Intercontinental Champion Bad News Barrett taking on Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods better show up or he'll have to face the consequences. <laughs> I see what you did there. I've done that many times to him on YouTube as well, commenting like up, up, down, down. <laughs> it's funny because I like I, I on Twitter I pick on him and the rest of the New Day all the time. Bad news, Barrett. Well, those nice the sidewalk he's slam. Caged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. Good way to open it up. Wow, that was a wild hard. strike. Just it's totally missing the target. Yeah, look like he's completely out of desperation. Because if you drop him hard enough, you can do some wind. With the big belly to back, carry over two plus. And what do you think about Xavier Woods? Following it up nicely. I like it. This is what I like to see. And another belly to back suplex. Well, you have to isolate those arms of Badger's Bear. He's got shown that that. And Xavier Woods. Bull hammer. Bull hammer. That bull hammer can come out of nowhere, as we've seen. Of course. As we've all seen as well, he's got a lower back, elbow pads, both that elbow joint, and the speed of air attacks makes him difficult to prepare for. Not always, though. He can always just hit it normally. Any way you look at it, Xavier Woods is impressive. And Xavier Woods, TKO. Calling back. Well, he's still down after that. Not only that, that's a move he used as his finisher back in TNA. I, I mean, uh, oops, um. Well, he did carry the name Creed because he was playing on um, People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time. Indeed. The and then when he first came to WWE, he built himself from Angel Grove. That is the hometown of the first five seasons of Power Rangers, for those of you that do not know. And 
for those Kate, of us early who can't bear to Xavier Woods' variety of skills is something that impresses me. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> DDT by Xavier Woods. Very nice. Highly educated in the art of submission wrestling. And reversals. Well, Cole, Xavier Woods could put exactly. a Exactly. At least not without hurting himself as well. Because he could have easily just pushed him off. And Xavier Woods is rolling straight to the top of WWE. Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods showing he's no rookie. He's getting out of it quickly. And another sidewalk slam by Bad News Bears. Yeah. Oh, Montefisto. This could be it. Drags him to the middle of the ring. Well, not quite, but still. One. Two. No, you can't. Not in a match with the Intercontinental Champion. He's showing the heart of a warrior. We're winning against Jason. You know, I think the best way to describe it is more of a push for getting that trap as well. Indeed. He just explodes with a flurry of attacks, but he can slow things down on a dime with wear down holds and submissions. When it comes to a chance, right hand by our bull, kind of a slap punch by Barrett. Followed by whatever that was, because I was looking. The shoulder's probably close to the back of the head. Definitely got him groggy. That. Trust us when we say, ladies and gentlemen, that does hurt. No, not necessarily. It's more of a surfboard type move. The bow and arrow surfboard. I do know the difference. <laughs> Xavier Woods' variety of skills is something that impresses Once me just as match, much as the strikes, the white and acrobatics, so his knowledge of different holds and submissions. Winds of change. We'll call it that. One, two. Yeah. In this is our WWE. We'll call it the Black Hole Slam if we want. Oh, if you know it as Winds of Change, call it Winds of Change. Oh no, I knew it as the Black Hole Slam before it was called the Winds of Change. I just call it that because that's not Abyss. Oh, he has? It's like, like, uh, JR, wrong company. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, Still conscious. Looks like, or, well, not. Uh, wow. And barely got a two count. Xavier Woods kicked out right at two. Woods enters the ring with the energy of an entire Survivor Series team roster. Woods feels the fuck alongside the fucking actors. And the chin lock. Or with his main man, our truth. If you don't know by now, fuck is on a roll. And if you get dropped by Xavier Woods, you're going to need to call your mama. Calling up Did they just reference Brutus Clay without even mentioning him? He keeps up this pace. This could turn real ugly real fast. Xavier Woods has taken a lot more damage with him, but he's still not even close to enough to keep him down. Clearly, as he's still fighting, sends him into the ropes. I thought he was going to go for a pop-up oh, bull hammer, but I guess not. Oh, well, we've seen him do this before. Oh, that hurts, trust me. Not even a two? Was it a two? I call it a one. No, it wasn't even a two. It was barely a one. We know what's coming here. And black hole slam again. One. 
two. And Xavier Woods just refuses to die. Yep, he can't take much more of it. But I don't know how much more Barrett can take to the head after that. Lost in the woods. One, two, three. He got him. You're, you're, yeah. Speaking of New Day, their next rivalry match, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston, will take on Aiden English of the Vaude Villains. Vaude Villains. Vaude Villains. I think it is Vaude Villains. That would be awesome if it's actually Vaude Villains. I think it's safe to say, King, that he's not at 100% after that brutal assault before the match started. Yeah, Wait, I they did win the titles, didn't they? I'm fairly certain they won the titles, but I can't be sure. Wait, yeah, they did, because I remember the, well, the cage the match. Kofi <laughs> well, taking a look at Kofi Kingston, what's the looking on here? Kofi. Definitely looking confident Kofi. in this one-on-one -on -one environment. Kofi. That's a good sign. As a You're champion, Kofi right. Kingston knows he has to win every night, even when there's no going for the Going for trouble in paradise early, and he got it. Looks like with Kofi bringing him down earlier than before the bell even rang. One, two, no, but Aiden English still refuses to stay down. You still has to play the energy. You want to see an incredible kick that comes literally out of nowhere. Is it near? Is it near? Does Aiden English look like he's bleeding because of the color of his hair? You can hear the impact from way up in the nose. We can see it. It's amazing. There's the European uppercut. Went for the went for the clothesline in the corner, but missed. What an idiot! I think that's part of the time for the finish of the move. And Kofi Kingston gains yeah. in this match. So, Aiden English trying to mount an offense. Kofi Kingston with the Oh no! Wait a minute, Kofi, what are you going to do here? Third, but here's the failure to back, straight up, straight down. Elbow drop, the punctuated. Michael, you know a finishing move is truly a finishing move when it can be performed on any opponent and almost guarantees uh, victory. Kofi with the back suplex of his own. And that's definitely trouble in paradise. Only matter of time to see how Kofi capitalizes on it. Kofi Speaking of which, elbow. elbow drop. It's hard to tell which hit first, though, because it looked like he hit him with his knee, too. Yeah, she to the Bret Hart. Two. Two. Three and just like that, it's over. That trouble of paradise must have been enough, or that he came down across the edge. Let's take a look. Let's just take a look back at what. All right, let's see what happens next. It was just saying that they were going to defend their titles at your next pay per view. Edge and Ziggler, both old enemies and old rivals. And both former World Heavyweight Champions. Don't forget that. One more prestigious than the other, both. But one's, 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 but the other's money in the bank cash-in was arguably more memorable. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the way that the way that crowd popped, it was like, oh my god, yes. Well, that's the glory of the internet. You hear enough about that stuff and you hear enough of it, they will go insane. Aren't you supposed to skip the entrance? Oh, shit, yes, I am. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. And there's the bell. Don't be surprised at all if these I guys attempt to one up each other in this one. From now on, you get the fair juice boost. If you go like Dolph Ziggler is pyro, pushing forward, and then you cut it off because then you will have the whole thing. And again, it could be fair use because you're showing up the entire game. I still have yet to get any problems with uh, any of the which I put up from Bioware doing the Pro Tour streams. So. Well, that's the thing. Uh, the 
the one copyright claim that I've gotten so far. I contested it, they didn't review it, so they just took it off. Well, see, that's the thing. When you have an entrance like the one you know we missed, for the Kobe, aggression now he's still going to need a English right before call. the bell rings. These two don't like each other, and things. we're going to find out how much they do dislike each other in this match. In the first five seconds. Go. Not a lot and of spring left in the step right that, now. Oh, you have that window. One of my favorite that rivalries from Dolph Ziggler's career was against Chris Jericho. Uh, I mean, this was one of the rivalries where the action in the end was phenomenal. And the banner back and forth between the show up and Y2J was just as entertaining. Anyway, enough breaking. What's Edge going to do here? Time to get back to this. Goes for the electric the chair drum. And that's the way he has to be if he wants that's to That's a move that Edge used very often back when he was still an active wrestler in real life. Showing he knows that's what it takes to win. It was actually... I, I think he was... I would see him better okay. as a tag team wrestler, but he became a singles guy very easy because of the fact he was a very strong character with a very strong mouth. Thank you for spending your Friday night with us. After seeing what we have in store, like I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Oh yeah, people would love to see him come back if his if his body would allow it. Another move Edge was yet synonymous with. I can watch those two lock up in the ring anytime. Edge going for the top. Two, and no, Ziggler kicks out. That would be awesome. And Eric Real was the most disrespectful person. All you have to do is look at the Sandman shoot. He has such evil things to say. He's got a target on his asshole. For more than 20 years, Monday night has been the sit out face buster by Dolph Ziggler. And ladies and gentlemen, Kitty Cat is back. Just in time to replace the juggernaut who will be right back. Say hello to Master Mewtwo, Kitty Cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. I mean, I know who's a guy in edge who doesn't care who's watching? Damn it. He's going to go out there and say and do whatever hey, he wants. And for those of you wondering, Chaos is still doing other things. He will be here shortly. But you know what? They've got people talking and clicking. I'm told that celebration resulted in a 25 million page views for WWE.com and an edge covers. Cover one. Edge has to be careful. He doesn't want Dolph Ziggler. Edge's extracurricular activities can certainly be deemed lewd, as we talked about earlier. But yeah, right. when it comes to actually competing in the ring, he's completely animated. From the moment his music plays and he walks out from the back, Ed transforms yes. into this massive ball of energy that it's almost impossible to slow down. <laughs> oh, dude, that is awesome. Yep, that's awesome. Yeah, we just got awesome. 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 With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a big necessary to bring it back into the ring. Look at this. Yep. He's in full control of this one. He's stopping him on that corner. Edge going for it. a Randy Orton move with that DDT. Uh, no, that would be These are great competitors. Makes the cover. I thought the execution was where he spun around like that. This match continues. Well, that's At some point, he's got to run out of gas. At some point, someone will figure out what I'll take. It is all Edge right now. Edge. That's it. He's done. This has been a very methodical attack. Huh. That makes sense. Cover. One. Two. No. Off the execution. Dolph Ziggler somehow manages to kick out. Dolph Ziggler is going in for the kill. <laughs> Northern Lights suplex. There's some serious power right there. But not enough. And enough to, get, and enough to allow him to recover, but he... Could have capitalized. He might have won. What pray? What, what pray tell? What season of power he would be? Oh, spear? 
This might be you know, to be greater in this business. Sometimes Dude, the show is the no. no. As long as it's up before that three. How many people have that? you seen kick no down the spear? Tonight. Well, usually the spear is followed up with a jackhammer, but we don't see that with a spear. Edge like finding that. a path of destruction currently. Well, Edge's spear arguably got weaker as he uh, as the years went no, by no. because of his neck. Thunder and Zora era. AK, Mighty Morphin Season 2. We'll see what we have in store. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. They have them because it separated in the season when they brought Tommy in as the Green Ranger. True. Wish we could get V to join on um, Skype. That way we could have a three person commentary team on Skype. Zigzag. Cover, hooks the leg. One. Two, no! And the frustration has to build when you can't put away a superstar the caliber of Edge. Both of these guys at this point have to be wondering what the hell do I have to do to put this guy away? In R of that pedigree. Oh, flatliner. Flatliner. This should do it right there. One. Two. Didn't he used to didn't he used to call that the downward spiral? Yes, it is downward spiral, but it's the flat liner because that was the canyons before Edge Spring Springboard. Why is it? Really and another. Hurting someone. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Quite like this guy. That is all Jericho, but Jericho is Edge. Edge is not here, and I don't think Jericho would mind because they're good friends. Edge using the lion's dolphin. Yeah. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are here at ringside. You better get that and have the right beat done. <laughs> you talking about us botching V? Top uh, rope execution. Top rope execution. execution. Boy, he's Blanky really done his homework for this match. That's got to be it. For One, One, two, two three. three. No! I heard that hand it, but it but it was a two. Could be worse. He could he could uh he could have had Ziggler grab the rope and still count the three. Hey, that was an accident. Oh top rope back suplex. Ouch. He is slowly getting dissected. Yes, it does. Cover. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. It took everything Edge had to get that shoulder up. Uh oh. He can't do that if he's. He does something different. He can't. Yeah, that's exactly he can't. He can't hit him with the spear if his arm isn't working right. Anyone thinking of getting into this business, I guarantee they'll think twice about it. Oh! And into a chin lock. And Dolph Ziggler has gained the upper hand. What a ruthless act. That is not a position you want to be in at any point in this match. And ever. Edge gets up. That's Shane Wrestling from the two. What? What? Just a note. I also think we're going to do Bruno, San Martino, extra slow getting back to his base here. What about Bruno? Oh, oh he's going for it. Spear! That's got to be it. Cover hook slay. One, two, three. It's over. Very nice. I can't believe what's going on. I can't believe they threw everything. Indeed. Despite what WWE thinks about Ziggler, he is world champion material. And now it is time for our main event of the evening, in which women's champion Lita will take on the wife of the general manager, Connie Jennings, in a Falls Count Anywhere match. The title is not on the line. Sorry? 
Isn't this the co-main event? It is. It is indeed. So Lita made her presence known earlier in the evening with Nikki Bella and Emma. So it'll be a better time to see if Nikki has any a modicum of vengeance against Lita after her loss earlier tonight. For some reason, those we will are see. freaking good. Huh? Those are oddly really good. <laughs> All right, let's see what the wife of the general manager has to has to offer. This is her debut match. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, so if you think Lita is going to win, type one in the chat. If you think Connie is going to win, type two in the chat. I haven't done that in a couple of matches. I just realized that. That's because we're having too much fun actually talking the matches out. Right? Snap suplex, snap suplex. Although I find it ironic that Connie's wearing something very similar to what Trish used to wear. Indeed. Very nice quick, quick shorts. Snap DDT to keep her from, from being able to get out of it. Lita stays on the attack. Lita's looking incredibly impressive as of late. Big Irish whip. Ooh. Me? I'm going to tell TJ you said that. He might say no more pizza for you. TJ. He said so it's a match between Lita and the wife of a beach boy. So we all know who TJ is going to vote for. Kid Cat, who are you going to vote for? Lita's the one in camo. Connie's the other one. Lita. No, the creative character is is TJ's wife, me. It's not mine. That is not Shinron. That is not the internal dragon. The internal dragon, huh? Internal. Yeah, I, I think it's eternal. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be. She said it's not afraid to take it to Scott, but she also features a power round game. And, and Chaos has joined us. Welcome to Chaos. Yeah, how about her Screw you all. That's from YouTube. This is Chaos. Chaos. This is Matt from YouTube. Yes, I'm an asshole. Aren't we all? One. Two. Just like that, it's over! Yeah, of course, what would you expect from someone who has not seen that much match? Oh, they mesmerized! It was only fair that Lita be the big win. Alright, and now it is time for. I gotta go that way. I gotta go that way. I can move you. Actually, I could have. So it is time for our main event of the evening as as V is being a bitch boy between the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, John Cena, and Raw General Manager, the Juggernaut Terrence Jennings. We all know TJ is going to vote for himself. So if you think John Cena is going to win, type one in the chat. If you think the general manager is going to win, type 2 in the chat. Nice to meet you. He's the general manager. He'll have a lot of things set up, possibly. A few things up his sleeve in order to keep Cena down. But Cena's been a quintessential professional ever since he started with his first match against Kurt Angle. With his development in OBW as the prototype, it's only a matter of time to see who does what. This could be big, big. I see myself going for an anti-spot. That's hurting me. Cena taking control early over the door. Oh, that could break your own. He's got his own power in those muscles. Yep. There's a reason they call him the Juggernaut, though. Cena with a suplex slam of some sort. Modified for sure, yes. Sin <laughs> Car always wins. As long as the event is called Botchamania. Uh, uh, <laughs> Juggernaut with a suplex. 
And so the count begins. Because TJ put mostly suplexes in his character's arsenal. T Bone suplex. At this point, I'm just going to start saying T is Juggernaut suplex cliche. Juggernaut suplex cliche. Kick to the back of the head. If not, then I might. Who are you going for? The referee. Who are you going for? Cena. Cena. I vote for cream cheese, but we don't... There's no cream cheese! The cream cheese is alive! No, the lion's cake is alive. I know that. Good news. I agree with Master Ruchu. It might be because she hears a new person's voice. I can't see it. John Cena suplexing the juggernaut on the ropes. Just a little. These two superstars are Oh, oh. Cena and Juggernaut. But the but the inter but the Intercontinental Champion distracting the referee and Cena, and the Juggernaut takes advantage. Catching suplex. Ladies two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Just an expression of power and explosion. Uh-oh. He's, he's calling for the Superman punch, and he hits it. And he may be out. Looks the way. One, two. So no. Juggernaut suplex cliche. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Oh, he's calling for it again. That's what I love to see. Vertical suplex. Shades of the British. Hold up. F5! If there is one move Cena does not kick out of, it is the F5. All I know is I missed the F2. It's like one, two, three. No! How does Cena do that? There's nobody else on this planet that can go like John Cena. I would think so. Nice move. I'll call it 15, 16 because he kicked out the ACP. He's pressing all the right buttons down. And hit the ball. Yeah. A belly to belly will definitely wear him down a little bit more. Juggernaut needs to stop focusing on the fans and focus on the match. He controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. It's going to cost him in the long run. But apparently not right now. Butterfly Suplex. For years, Monday night has been the most exciting night in sports entertainment. And the action we've seen here is a lot of reason. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Spear! Now that was actually a spear. I will give it that. That was... Look how slow he is to be covered here. That was some serious punishment. I have seen since the Gore and Goldberg. One, one, two, three, it is over! Ladies and gentlemen, DJ definitely had it set up, Brian is here. Look at this! Oh boy, I can't believe it! Alright, so that was Raw Episode 3! You should make someone call Cream Cheese and give him a diamond cutter or the RKO and call it the Cream Cheese Cutter. <laughs> I totally should. One of us should make idea. that happen. This needs to be a thing. 
Surprisingly, the Eternal Dragon is not here. Uh, refresh the stream, V. Because it said the, he said the stream cut out, but the stream is still going here. Is it still going on your end? I'm actually fine. It could be V's internet. Just told him to refresh or wait for Mine was doing that project. same thing. All right, so. If you have anything else open, you might want to close it because it really messes with it. Yeah. All right, so. From what everybody saw of it, what did everybody think tonight? Nothing. Not surprising. It definitely helps to be live and in color for it. Live and in living color for it. Right? Uh, it, tell him it might be his internet thing, because everybody else is saying it's fine. It's not buffering for me either. No. I'm clean as can be there, me. I don't think you can hear us. It says it just keeps buffering. I thought she was too I thought she was too. I guess they might have asked her to stay. She might have had to help with something because she might have had to help close because she might. They might. They. I remember them saying somebody um, called in. There's been a lot of that happening at the other store too. All right. They need to hire people, but they're not allowed to right now because there's a set time that they do that. Yeah. That's ridiculous. All right. Yeah. So we are gonna. Huh? People, I'm just gonna hire them. So we are gonna take a look yeah. at the comes in, comes in match out. card for LWL this coming Wednesday. We are gonna end the stream in terms of raw, and then we are gonna do some post raw shenanigans, as usual. He's called in three weeks straight. Why if that's not? cool with Master Mewtwo. Oh, you know I'm here for that. And, so of course, me is blaming the cream cheese. And me. After right. What the hell was that? After right. Thanks. See, just for that, you need to Christmas. make them wee wee. Yeah, Christmas. I should. Just the day of the Christmas church was out. Was that? Was that? In the process of firing him. I, I should. I totally yeah. should. Alright, yeah, so. We're going to look at the match card for LWL. Alright. How long is it? Oh, excuse me. Two weeks. Really? So apparently, Seamus and Hideo Itami are in a rivalry. I only got like a week. As they will like kick off eight. LWL. Might only be five days. With Should this be a promising match? With a rivalry Depends. match? Yeah. Depends on the Seamus' like, match. Um, this one way of Not much of a wear down. He took could actually, like, if he's had get, enough rest. Indeed. So, if I remember right, right he won he his like match last night. On. Win or lose. I wish I could do something yeah, like that. Easier, easily yeah. worn out. And V is all for El Num Wee Wee being on two state cases. But it doesn't matter. You said 2K15, by the way, Master Mewtwo. Yeah. Well, crap. She's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, V, send me the. Um, Except for manager. Tell him, manager. If you can't hear me, tell him I said send me the template that he wants to do for 2K16 and I'll make it. My manager that I had before. And then, so after the rivalry match between Sheamus and Hideo Itami, there will be a rematch from Reign of Blood between the new LWL leading lady champion Alicia Fox and Cameron. I don't know about this, it just shows that you're using that contract obligation for a rematch way too early. You could end up it's not, yourself down. It's not for the title, though. Not for the title. Okay. No. So it's probably just a bit of a, yeah, it's a pure grudge match. They didn't give a shit, though. Uh, or, yeah, the Wee Wee Driver Bomb. That is the signature. Yeah. yeah. Wee Wee Driver Bomb, of course. After that, we have Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose taking on new LWL World Tag Team Champions, the Nation of Domination, in Mark Henry and D'Lo Brown. Though we will change that due to the fact that we are doing our own version of Tag Team Turmoil, where a different tag team challenges the champions every week. Is it a championship match for sure? It will be. Hmm. Well, they wish you could just see the shield versus the nation of domination. Fire was too harsh. Okay, so for the... Okay, hang on. I will see what Shinron says, 
And That's for those of you in the chat, since V can hear me, and no. they did not give the um, they, they only have 15 14. Gave. Travis but how close is 2K14 to 2K16 in terms of the sound Way far off. Yeah, it's 13 and 2K16 here. Right and they said they couldn't give him back. Uh, I think you're cutting out again, Mr. Mewtwo. Am I getting in trouble for having a little No, bit well, you were, but you're good so now. Uh, for those of you that are in the chat, who would like to no, see us parlay the, the whole um, remit of uh, the whole new per new so tag team know, next uh, this, this coming six. Wednesday and have the Shield versus the Nation of Domination for the tag? If you if you would like to see that, please type one in the chat. If you wouldn't, type two. Um, well, here's one thing to think about. Uh, because you try to keep the tag team for a while going on. And their uh -huh. can throw in this group in the game or no. Indeed he is, but he is and on Raw, I believe. They got in a car accident. Make it a special match, make it a special cross-brand yeah. match, so depending on where Roman Reigns is. She's gonna throw be Roman Reigns on the side of Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, and throw Farouk on the side of Mark Henry and Nero Brown. He had himself the Asian domination versus the Shield. This is true, but we're trying to put the tag team titles on the line every week until the second pay-per-view is what we're trying to do. Yes, guys, would you guys like to see the Shield versus the Nation? I don't like to see the Shield at all. So no. Would you? I don't mm. remember who the Shield was. Those, those two plus Roman Reigns. <coughs> the two on the left. Yeah. Plus I still say that guy. I really want to. I, I want to shoot that guy in the face because he just she's, looks mm, mm, like a freaking creeper. She says the Ambrose looks like a creeper, guys. Me. He does. The other guy just looks like, I'm trying to be too sexy. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to continue going down the match card. Because, honestly, that face is just, like, forcing it way too much. I can't, that, I can't see the faces unless there's facial hair. And he's making a kissy face. Then we will have L W. Moving on, we will have L W L Zodiac <laughs> champion Adam Rose taking on X Pac. Looks, looks all the time. Well, X Pac. Don't be a dick just because it's true. You might end up doing something in this match. You don't gotta move on to nothing. We can make fun of their faces all we want. You can, but I'm trying to move the, the end of the stream on. Oh, I, just fun, I just made fun of X Pac. So. Yeah. All right, and then in another rivalry match, it will be oh, Edge, because apparently that was a cross-brand match, taking on superstar Steve Austin. That's a weird-looking face. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Austin. As I was saying, then wow. in our co-main event of the evening, it will be that is a badly remade Austin Shane. We will have to change that because th there are two <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austins in that match. Stone Cold and Stone Cold from 97 against the LWL World Heavyweight Champion Curtis Axel. It's more because it's more because so, we can we try not Axel to have more than one of the same uh, character types in one match. And then you end up having an Undertaker Undertaker tag team match against Stone Cold and Stone Cold. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that and, would be worth the price of it. And finally, in our main event of the evening for LWL this coming Wednesday, it will be Arnold from Terminator 2 taking on Warhawks member The Sickness Will York. Now it would have been better to see Terminator versus the Juggernaut, but because we've seen Robocop own Terminator, it's only a matter of time to see if the Warhawks can start making a difference against the Terminator. <laughs> oh, shots fired? Sounds like it. Well, it would be interesting to see a Warhawks versus the Terminator. <laughs> it would. <laughs> All right. So, with that being said, guys, in terms of Raw, we are going to leave the stream off here. 
We will be doing an, uh, we will be doing a post raw shenanigans stream. Go for it. Uh, don't want to do, don't want to get copyright V, so I can't really. Um, but as I was saying. TJ, before you go, would you mind saying <laughs> yes. good night to everybody? Yeah. Uh, All right, so it's actually Mark Henry's uh, theme and since everybody's getting part of my class, yes, please. Okay. Say good night to everybody, though. I'll say it for both of us. Get your shit and get out. He already said it. Damn it. Chaos. He already said it. Get your shit and Damn get it. out. <laughs> Master Mewtwo. Get your shit and put it on Elliot's head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it would be better if you said put it up his ass. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that would be more yeah, funny watching him hop around going, ow. Uh, all right, guys. <laughs> As I was saying, we will be right back. But in terms of Raw, we are going to leave it off here. We love you guys. We, we hope you all. enjoyed. We will see no. you guys Wednesday for LWL. We hope you had a happy new year. Don't listen to this asshole back here saying we hate you all. We really don't. We really do. And we will see you guys next time. We will be right back for those of you that are going to stick with us. Why?